Hey developers, so today we're gonna look at 40 high quality free resources for web development. I'm gonna go through all of them. I'm gonna give you my impressions of them. We're gonna go through quick. So if you are interested in any of these resources, just look in the description below. I'll have a link to this really cool blog article by Jose Felix, so you guys can check it out. And first, before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. I just wanna take a moment and thank our sponsor, Dot Tech Domains. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably love domain names and you love to buy ones that are short and relevant, but also most importantly, available. And that's what's really cool about .tech domains. There's a ton of really cool domains available and the .tech domain is broad enough that you can kind of understand that this is technology related as well. A lot of really cool sites are using .tech domains like hollywood.tech, viacom.tech, even personal sites like austinevans.tech. So if you guys are interested, and you want to search for a really cool domain name, go to go.tech slash Eric, and then search for your domain name. If you end up buying it, you actually get up to 80% off on one year and five year domains. So go to go.tech slash Eric, and go ahead and pick up that domain name. Thanks. All right, so here is the 40 high quality free web resources for web development. It got a lot of activity on dev.2 a while back. So I thought I would just take a look at them. You can see here, I have a million tabs at the top. So I'm just gonna go through it. I'm just gonna riff on it. And uh, like I said, if you guys are interested in any of these resources, I'll make sure I put a link to the blog article in the description so you guys can check that out. So let's, you know, let's just jump on into it. All right, so the first one is royalty free illustrations for 404 pages. So yeah, this one's pretty neat. Uh, I've seen a, you're going to see a lot of themes here. If you've ever used Undraw, which is like a free illustration site, these are sort of like Undraw. I noticed that he didn't include it, but it's kind of neat that there's all these places out there that give you illustrations, but this is just not illustrations. We also look at other things. So it's cool. Like, yeah, you can get like a dragon breathing onto a castle or a guy with a light that shows four or four. So yeah, it's kind of neat. You can just grab these and use them. So our next one up is Blush Illustrations for Everyone. This is kind of like another just free illustration website. You can even uh, just like create a random one, I guess. Uh, if you click here and uh, yeah, it would just load up this template and you can just do this yourself. And I'm guessing it extracts an SVG so you can even probably do even more. So very cool. So this is Blush. So let's take a look at this next one. It's called Smash illustrations, awesome illustration constructor with colorful and trendy characters. Let's all your fantasy run wild. And by the way, if you're still watching to this point, leave a comment below and let me know which one that you guys like best, because that'll be interesting. And then you can certainly share what resources that you guys have used. So yeah, this is neat. Let your fantasies run wild, awesome illustrations. Another really cool kind of get grab these illustrations. This is really trendy. I see this all over the place. A lot of people use these free illustrations with these block characters. Combo set of 108 customized list illustrations. So this is called control.rocks. So it looks very similar to the other ones. So cool. This is called draw kit. So be beautiful free illustrations update weekly. So this is cool. It's another like free illustration website. And by the way, I'm sure a lot of times you can download these illustrations free. Some of them will require you to put your email address in and they'll probably be selling you like premium stuff later on. But yeah, I mean, these are neat. Like these illustrations are neat. All right, and this is called opendoodles.com. So just another free sketch illustrations. You can download any of these. Okay, free illustrations, download free illustration background images of your awesome landing pages. I've actually seen some landing pages using these, this background. I'm like, wow, how did they do that? But I bet they just downloaded one of these images, which is really cool. So yeah, you could just click on any of them and it just brings it up. And it looks like some of them have premium versions, but there's free ones as well. Obviously the premium one gives you like PSD files and everything. And the, the free one's just a JPEG. So mix kit is the next one beautiful art and illustrations. So once again, you can just, uh, for use, use to use completely free of charge. Perfect for that. All right, Delazine, Delazine. So you roll it to a free design for, uh, design for your website, social media, blog, email, newsletter, more. This is, so there's so many really cool sites you can just get free illustrations from. You'll never need to buy illustration again. 
Of course, you're going to kind of have the same style, like the faces without any, like the blank faces, but this is, this is hip right now. You can do this. If you think this is hip, click the like button and let me know. And click that bell button too. Here's Majestic. This is like GitHub repo, but it's a zero com config UI for Jest. So now we're talking not illustrations. We're talking about kind of developer tools here. So if you use Jest, you can use Majestic. I've never used it, but I looks kind of neat. I've used this though. This is Carbon. So if you're ever on Twitter and you see snippets of code added into pictures, this is what I use. It just really makes it easy. You can totally set different fonts, uh, different uh supports different languages. I'm sure you can change the background and then you just export it either to like a ping or SVG and it makes it really easy to input embed in a tweet or something like that. The next one is called Smush App. I haven't used this, but it looks like you can just drag and drop images in here and it helps you like select the size. You can resize the content for you. You can save it as browser um, WebP or JPEG or ping or uh, OXI ping, I've never heard of that. I guess you could do that. And it even tells you at the bottom like how much you're saving between it. So uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. I mean, I've used Adobe Photoshop, but if you're not using that, this will work. So this is Jake Archibald's GitHub SVG OMG. So you can paste SVGs in here and it basically like removes, you can like remove the doc type XML. It kind of cleans up SVGs for you. I've actually have used this in the past. So it even tells you like you're saving 48% of the size. So this is cool. If you have an SVG that you're exporting from some tool and you want to save some size, you can do that here, which is cool. So this is kite.com code faster with kite. Kite is the AI assistant giving developers superpowers. It looks like it's a VS code extension. I have never used this, but it looks like it's pretty neat like it does better IntelliSense completions. This is cool. This is like a devdocs.io. There's a few p tools out there that allows you to like search really, really quickly for developer documents. This uh, obviously being one of them. So you can just like, I don't know if you were, I want to look for ease in or ease out, or if I want to do a transformation and you just want to click on it, you can really easily get the definition and examples you know, without having to Google it or look in MSDN or, or MDN that is. So this, this is kind of neat. Now this is Rico's cheat sheet. I, uh, this is, I just got to know this when I looked at this list and yeah, it looks like it has a bunch of cool cheat sheets. Look, here is view. Here's how to do most of the stuff in view components, lifecycle hooks. Obviously it's not updated for view three yet, but it looks, uh, yeah, it looks fairly cool. It looks like it has a bunch of cheat sheets for common libraries out there. So that's Rico's or devhints.io. So this is Wappalizer. So this is a extension or plugin that you can use in Chrome. Once you have it, do I have it? I have color picker, but once you can do it, you can use it. You can analyze your website and look at uh, different things. And I think it gives you like different texts or you can compare things on it. Uh, looks pretty neat. I've used it a few times. It worked well. Yeah. So it's, you can see covering technology such as content management system, customer relationship management. That's really neat. I mean, you don't have to like look inside the inspect and look at the network tab and all that. I hate regex.io. So the, I mean, the common joke with regex is now you use regex to solve a problem and then you have two problems. So as it says right here, now you have two problems, but it looks like it gives you some like common regex stuff like emails. Like this is a common one for email and uh, you know, this is how it works. I think you can even like type stuff in here and see which one matches and which ones doesn't. So that's pretty neat. I think this is definitely something you might want to bookmark. This is Lottie files. So the future of animation and interactive design is here. I've used Lottie in the past. I had to add an animated gift. I converted over to Lottie and then used the Lottie library in our, in one of our apps and it made it really, it's kind of neat. So you can, looks like this is a part of Lottie animation so you can uh, get started for free and you create uh, animations and works with the Lottie uh, library plugin. So custom shape dividers. So if you've ever been to the websites where they have a crazy like uh, divider between one section and another, if this is another really uh, kitschy 
maybe trendy thing in web development is you have these these crazy bezels and and shapes inside your uh, dividers between different sections I've I'm guilty of it I created one too so this is cool you can sort of like create your own here create the different widths you can invert it you can do top bottom and I'm guessing this just exports out and exports out to some sort of SVG that you can use I mean if you're using this instead of uh, you know Adobe Illustrator you can use this instead so this is Anna Mista CS animation on demand you could try me you can I guess you can like create animations with this and then uh, maybe there's a way to export this I'm sure there's a way yeah, you can do different card flips use steps and once you figure out what you want you can replay the animation right here so here is the CSS code that you can use to just copy and paste into your app it's kind of neat all right, so he's, if you ever done patterns in, in CSS and you want different patterns, this is cool. Like, hey, maybe I want the dot pattern or, or this type of pattern. It looks like you can, you can download these and use them in your side of your apps. Now this is CSS uh, effects snippets. So if you wanted to know how to do like different hover effects, whatever you want, it looks like it copies it to your clipboard. So I don't know if I go inspect here and go to my console and copy and paste it. Yep, there it is. Looks like there's all this SVG for me. I am not a huge CSS guru with animation, so I think this would really help me out. All right, here's 98 CSS, which is a design system for building faithful recreation of old UIs. If you're an old school developer and you were using Windows, an old version of Windows, you, this is probably looks very similar. And I guess it allows you to like create this these text boxes and everything, which is kind of fun. All right, Tailwind component. So if you're a big fan of Tailwind like me and you want um, you want to have some cool components out of the box that you can download, Tailwind's components is for you. Now there is an official Tailwind uh, Tailwind service that Adam Wathen created that uh, you, I think it's like a couple hundred bucks, but you get like their premier Tailwind components and everything. I would look at that too, but it looks like a lot of these things are free that you can probably just download. And yeah, you can see here how they did all this, which is really cool for a Tailwind fan. Definitely something you should look at. This is called Tail Blocks. And I think this is kind of a similar thing if you wanted to learn how they, let's see here, they, they have different uh, categories. Oh, so the same thing. You can look at inside Tailwind, how they did it, like text to Excel, font medium. So this is another one. It's just kind of a kind of a cool Tailwind resource out there. Colors LOL, this is like if you need different color designs. I have not used this, I have heard of it. But you can see here that, um, you can see like what color palettes kind of go together. It's kind of interesting. Color Mind, this is kind of the same thing. Now here is Free Logo Maker. Maker. I mean, a lot of times when you need logos, there's 99 designs. You can get stuff off of Fiverr. But if you wanted to use one of these logo makers, this seems like it could work for you. So ucraft.com, um, I'm not gonna get into it. Now this is app mockup beta, app mockup screenshot builder. Increase the number of downloads in your app with 30% by creating beautiful screenshots. So if you ever wanna take a picture of your app and put it inside a, a mockup, this, this is your tool right here. Now let's talk about web frame. So web frame, it looks like it's trending on product hunt. Discover inspired by beautiful web app designs. I'm Cal and I make web frame as part of the challenge to build and launch one product every week. I'm now building Snapboard. So this is kind of interesting. It looks like you could see different uh, apps and see kind of reminds me of Dribble a little bit, but it looks like you can download it. So maybe you can download these for free. So there's a whole bunch of them in here. So if you kind of like this, this look and feel of any of these, you can then download them. I don't know if it downloads as HTML or what, but uh, definitely something to worth looking at a little bit more closely. So very cool. All right, so here is FontSpark. So you can type something in FontSpark. You can kind of generate different, uh, you can take a look at different fonts and you can even get, get like you can like get random ones if you wanted to. You can download the fonts, kind of a cool way to test out fonts. Here's hack design, looking to start getting starting design. Our first few lessons have been built together. So this is, um, there's a few websites like this. I think this helps you with different um, design philosophies and things like that, which is really cool. 
So here is check. So here is checklist design, which is a collection of the best UX and UI practices. Um, once again, it looks like you can get some ideas on how to create login pages. You can kind of create it, list it. I don't know. I haven't used this. Looks kind of interesting. Re okay, here is remove.bg. So if you are wanting to create your own image backgrounds, or if you want to remove people from backgrounds, it looks like you can do it through here. I, I've done this through Adobe Photoshop before, but this is cool. There's a service that does this. This is now remove video background, which is really cool. So you can upload a, a clip and I guess it, it does it for you. And here is Sedja, which is we help you build PDF tasks. Looks like they have a PDF editor. You can merge um, all sorts of stuff with PDFs. Here's a privacy policy generator. So if you're creating your own website and you need to create a private policy, here it is. Here's top hunts. So if you're using, if this looks like the top product hunt for different dates. So if you want to see like the cool stuff that's happening in product hunt and go back in time, you can do that. I've used Notion before. It's an all-in-one workspace. It's a really, really awesome note taker. It's also kind of, you can do a lot of things with it, I guess. Um, instead of having like Google Docs and Jira and Evernote, this kind of does everything in one. A witty is a simple text editor to help you focus on what matters. So it's like in a Chrome extension, like, like you can put some notes for yourself. Grammarly is a way to compose bold, mistake-free writing with Grammarly's AI powered writing assistant. So it looks like if you have this installed as an extension and you type something wrong, you can use it to, uh, to correct mistakes in your spelling. I could probably use that. Here's a builders, open source alternatives. Find open source alternatives for your favorite apps. So you can kind of search for something that's closed source and you can probably find an open source version of it. Uh, Wave is award-winning financial software for entrepreneurs. Looks like it maybe has like a free plan. Clockify is the only true free time trackers for teams. And there's a lot of time tracking software out there. Uh, it's cool that there's a free one. And last but not least is Untools, tools for better thinking. So I haven't heard of this collection of thinking tools and frameworks to help you solve problems, make decisions, understand systems. So I guess you can kind of read into like what these different tools are, like what's the ladder and what's uh, issue trees. V very interesting. All right. So that is all 40 of the top web development free tools that you guys can use. Let me know which ones that you guys like the most in the comments below. And also if you like my channel make sure you click that subscribe button there's gonna be some extra videos that are playing now click on those watch them also give your pat yourself a pat on the back for making it all the way to the end of this video thanks adios